Cecily Rawlinson, they're in Perth uh, here with the Cyber West Summit. Welcome to our Tech and Sec Weekly. Thanks so much for having me, Chris. It's really great to be connected and to talk to you today about Cyber West Summit. Absolutely. Uh, this follows our interview with Troy Hunt uh, just a couple of weeks ago, who's going to be your keynote speaker there. Better say the dates, the 10th to the 11th of May there in Perth. Where are you with planning? And, and uh, tell us a little bit more about the summit and what you got in, in store. Um, well, it's shaping up really well. Uh, we're really excited about our program. Our expressions of interest actually close this week. So right. we've got a packed program, which is being put together by industry advisory group. So making sure that we've really got that industry great engagement and a strong program um, amongst our other keynote speakers, such as Troy Hunt, who is incredible and we can't wait to hear from him. We also have it opened by the Honourable Minister Stephen Dawson, who's the Minister for Innovation and Digital Economy. And that's really the purpose of the summit is to connect the cybersecurity sector and the industry with business writ large in WA and making sure that we're connecting with small, medium businesses in the critical infrastructure supply chain and also the public sector to support the efforts made by the Office of Digital Government in the cyber capability, capability uplift that we're seeing across state government agencies. Well, you've got your program up and out, and obviously uh, some of the details might still be getting built. This isn't the first uh, iteration of the summit. Uh, what's the sort of the core purpose? So this is the second iteration. The first we had was Cyber West 2021. So that was in June 2021 and was really well received by the community. Based on feedback, though, because we do believe in innovation in the means of doing something differently and trying something new. So we have added and made Cyber West Summit 23 even bigger and better. So a few of the tweaks we have is making it a little bit larger in terms of the number of attendees. We're aiming for about 500. And we've also added skills based workshops because what we're seeing is that although our cyber professionals understand cyber risk and all of the threats out there, Sometimes those who are professionals and leaders in the business community aren't understanding the key cyber principles they need to in order to take great business decisions. And some of that goes to the intangible concepts around cyber. So we do have skills based workshops so participants can leave with some really concrete ideas around what is cyber, what do I need to understand about it, how is this part of my business, how is this part of my role? and then can walk away with, you know, hopefully a password manager installed on their phone at a minimum, but a great cybersecurity strategy for their business as well. So it's two days of really great content, um, content um, both educational and inspirational. And speaking about inspiration, on the afternoon of day two, we do have a special cyber careers showcase. And that's really designed for the educators in WA to understand the different career pathways for cyber to make sure that we're building that talent pipeline for their students and for the next generation. Well, that was one thing I was going to raise is the the two one the, the two day program it looks great, uh, and then you've got the the showcases. Where do you see the industry just locally? Uh, early early interest in this as well. It's a great opportunity. But also, I think the linkages to, say, Edith Cowan University and their cybersecurity uh, programs, uh, you know, nationally renowned, it's a really good opportunity to link to the students, the industry, uh, and some of those key learnings for the business community. Yeah, thanks, Chris. So, yeah, we have really great support from our local cybersecurity sector. So we have approximately 22 homegrown cybersecurity companies here in Perth. So they'll all be present and then we'll be connecting them to businesses in WA who need to understand their cyber risk and how to be cyber resilient. Um, we are delighted to be hosted by Edith Cowan University. At the moment, ECU is producing approximately 20% of cybersecurity graduates nationally. So it's a it's a really interesting nice. program. It's got industry relevant skills. And we're also lucky to be supported also by Curtin University, North Metropolitan TAFE and South Metropolitan TAFE. So in terms of that educational expertise, we'll definitely be showcasing um, some of the academic research that's coming out of ECU that's relevant for industry in Perth. But at the same time, we'll also be able to harness you know, how do we get more women involved in cybersecurity? How do we make sure that we're building a diverse workforce? And how do we inspire mid-career professionals to study cyber to make sure we're meeting some of the skills gaps? Also, how do you even recruit for cybersecurity at the moment? It's a really hot market. So understanding what skills you need in your team and how best to recruit for those is definitely going to be part of our program. 
Nice. Well, look, we'll give the sponsors a quick plug. Business News is your platinum sponsor. Uh, your silver sponsors, you've mentioned Edith Cowan, you've got Kinetic IT. So good day to the team there at Kinetic IT and Green Square DC, uh, our data center solution and your bronze sponsors, ES2. And good day to the guys uh, at ES2. Asa, you mentioned, I think you mentioned the city of Joondalup and Curtin University as well. Look, we're very pleased again to be media partners, uh, the Australian Cybersecurity Magazine and My Security Media. Uh, look, we'll keep the audience wanting more. It's cyberwestsummit.com.au. Uh, we'll have the links in the show notes. But Cecily Rawlinson, you're putting a, a big conference together for two days. So best of luck and not long to go now either. Thanks so much, Chris. Yeah, we're really excited. I think we're eight weeks out. Um, we've got two sundowners, two days of great content and a, a career showcase and some really incredible speakers. So we're looking forward to bringing the community together and making sure that we're really uniting cyber, business and the public sector. So thanks Beautiful. again. Thank you very much.